Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So for many years, I've been you know, cautioning everybody that at some point we're going to see an event overseas that is going to really hurt uh, our stock investments. And you know that's what's happening right now, but this is nowhere close to what it could be. So I want to put things in perspective, and uh, I hope you can see this. This is a 747 airplane, all right? So I'm going to put the events in Greece in perspective. Um, the 747 has four engines, all right? One of those engines is North America. That includes Canada, and really, for the most part, it's the United States, all right? <clears throat> then you have over here, you have Europe, another engine for the world economy, all right? Just like the 747 has two engines on this side and two engines over here. Well, now over here, we have Asia, which... You know, it changes all the time because at some point China was part of the emerging markets. Now, obviously, it's a huge market. So the other engine or a third engine is Japan, China, and India. And then the fourth engine is your emerging markets. So that's the world economy. You have four engines. So what's happening at this point in this engine called Europe is we have a very, very small country in terms of not only size, but economically, that is causing a problem in that engine. And remember, when one of the engines starts to suffer, okay, and I'm hoping you can see this because I can't see what you see, but when one of the engines starts to hurt, it puts more pressure on other engines to perform on a 747. The same thing in the world economy. And when you see Greece start to hurt that European engine, and there's a lot of other things inside that European engine that I believe are going to start to hurt pretty soon, uh, which is Italy and Portugal and um, Spain and so on, it puts pressure on the other engines to continue to do well. Now, remember, it's all about earnings when it comes to stocks. So the question is, the, do the companies that you are invested in, are they doing business in Greece? Probably not. And if they do, it's such a small amount of business, it's not even measurable. But do they, do they do business in other countries in Europe? Probably. And so when Greece starts to hurt, it puts pressure inside on the other countries, especially on the southern part of Europe. But it really puts pressure on those better countries in terms of economics like uh, Germany and uh, Sweden and others like Switzerland. Those countries are doing better. The question is, are those, are those countries like Germany and Switzerland and others going to come to aid and support Greece. Well, right now, Greece says, hey, we don't want any of that, all right? So we are now going to start to see that one engine in the economic uh, you know, landscape start to hurt. Now, if your stock prices um, you know, are going down, which they will today, you know, you got to say to yourself, is this a long-term thing? Well, right now, given what we know at this moment, no. But stocks predict things six to nine months down the road. So you could start to see a lot of selling in preparation for more bad news to come. So, you know, our portfolios are, are well balanced. Um, you know, we're going to suffer a little bit, but we have alternatives in them. And, you know, I fully believe that you're going to see a downward move in everything. Don't be shocked if you start seeing stock prices rise again, because people are going to realize this isn't such a big deal. But remember that the printing of the euro hasn't helped at all. Right? You see the contraction in Germany's uh, output today. Yeah, I actually read this stuff. And that's not a good sign. Okay? There's a lot of issues around the world. The United States is very, very soft. Our GDP numbers are not strong. And if you really understand how the GDP is calculated uh, using this GDP deflator, you'll see that there's really been no economic growth in the United States for a very, very long time. And I'm talking about, you know, about six years. There really hasn't been much of any nominal growth. Asia, yeah, we got problems there too. So you, there are problems around the world, but I wanted to put Greece in perspective. It, in among itself, by itself, is not a major problem. It will cause some issues inside the Eurozone, which then will make the Eurozone less uh, productive, which then could put strain on other economies like Asia, like the emerging markets, which export goods to Europe. So everything is tied together, just like here. They're all on one airplane. Well, all of the economies are part of the, the world economy, all right? And it sounds pretty basic, but I wanted to give you an understanding that when something happens overseas, it matters to us in the United States, all right? 
And when something happens to, for instance, China, right, it matters to us greatly. Right? We've got to get our economy going, and I think other economies will pick up. But having said that, hopefully that helps quite a bit in you understanding what's going on over there. So in that European engine, this isn't a big, big deal, okay? The European engine is a big deal.